Hi there! Hope you all had a fun and safe Easter. Now to kind of counteract that, let's talk about Game of Thrones and all its debauchery and gore and incest and overall just beauty. <laughs> so this is like a new vlog series I want to do in response to last week's episode actually, which had quite a few game-changing moments. And uh, I just noticed while I was watching that episode that I get very vocal and very expressive when it comes to this show. So I kind of figured it'd be a little fun and uh, interesting if I would record my real-time reactions to the episode as it's taking place. But also I want to kind of make it a little bit interesting and introduce the idea of Game of Booze, which is essentially my own little makeshift drinking game for this series. Now before we get into this, of course I want to stress... You'll hear audio from the episode itself, but uh, that'll probably mean there will be some, maybe a couple of spoilers here or there, spoiler alerts, so to speak. So watch the episode on, on its own first, then come back and check out my reactions to it. And also, this is going to be like abbreviated. Not, we're not going to go through the whole episode, just the highlights. Um, and of course, secondly, since there's a drinking game involved. I strongly urge all of you out there, please don't drink and drive. I'm doing this because it's a Sunday night. I'm not going anywhere. All I want to do is sit, have a couple of drinks, and watch Game of Thrones. And I don't plan on operating any heavy machinery or taking a spin outside or anything like that afterwards. So, yeah, don't drink and drive, kids. It's just not good. All right, let's get to the game now. And... Before we get to the rules, what you need to have on hand, you need to have a beer of choice, which for me, you'll see later, will be Peroni, but I like my Peroni's nice and cooled, so they're staying in the fridge for right now. And then you need a liquor of choice. In my case tonight, I'll be drinking some of the Not From Ireland, since the show, I believe, is shot in Ireland, so how appropriate. And you'll need regular shot glass, double shot glass. All right, here are the rules. Now, it's not going to be one of those types of games where you're going to be hopefully not drinking every single second of the show because you want to catch my fun reactions just on their own, you know, and as they can get progressively more interesting as the show goes on. Uh, so rule number one, just to kind of set us all off in a good mood, Finish your beer of choice during the main theme song that opens the show. Because that opening theme goes on for about, I want to say, a minute and 40 to two minutes. You don't have to pound the beer, but you definitely have time aplenty to, um, to finish it off. Or at least by the time the episode starts, you'll be on your way and you'll be down, hopefully, to the bottom of it. So just finish off a beer into the opening of the show. Rule number two, uh, take a drink of your favorite beer during an act of violence. It can be a quick, it can be a swig or whatever. But like say there's a grand battle sequence going on, you see people getting hacked and mauled to death or whatever, uh, take a swig during that. Uh, however, to go along with that, rule number three, finish your beer if this act of wanton cruelty, cruelty or torture or, uh, or violence happens towards a main character now or a group of main characters for example if uh, they decide to go red wedding again on like five main characters in this episode coming up uh, that would count also main character constitutes for right now anyone who's been on the show for more than a season so for example gay Antonio Banderas who just uh, showed up this season, he doesn't count. Might be a fun character for you and everything like that. He might be your favorite already. Uh, he doesn't count. If he gets killed or tortured in this episode, he's only been in about three episodes. So there needs to be a long-standing main character, like I said, like Hodor or like Jon Snow or Sam or something like that. So, Rule number four. You take a shot of your favorite liquor during a scene that involves nudity. So, I don't know, I'm kind of hoping 
just for the sake of tonight, that there's not a lot of nudity. But, um, yeah, nipples, uh, dongs, yeah, any type of male, female nudity. Take a shot. Take a double shot if there's a scene involving sex. Again, male on female sex, female on female sex, male on male sex, brother on sister, sex. Double shot. And then the final rule, finish out your viewing experience with another of your favorite beers. Just as the end credits are rolling. So, there we go. So, for the trial run of this on the third episode, I hope it's a little light. <laughs> but we'll see. Ready? Winter's coming. Oh, by the way, if there's a previously on, I'm not counting that as the opening. Yep, there's a previously on. Turn purple, kid. Almost there. Oh, thank God for long title sequences. Yeah, that white tree is no way related to the white tree of, uh, whatchamacallit, Minas Tirith. Well, gee, done before the credits are even over. Yeah, get another one. All right, let's see what you got. Oh, come on, you open up on that? <laughs> you did this! You did this! Take him! Take him! Well, Why? since that already happened, I'm not counting that. <laughs> oh, shit. Run, little redhead girl, run! Oh, you're gonna kill. Oh, are you fucking for real? Wait! Ay, ay, ay! Oh, God. <laughs> Why do people have to be such assholes to each other on this show? Okay, that wasn't technically a pound, but give me a break. We're only five minutes into this episode. Of course. Trust the creepy, thin mustache perv. I might be fucked, folks. Good. Like, yeah, we really want to see that. Anyway, at least you wore something blue for your wedding, dear. One of my husbands preferred the company of men and was stabbed through the heart. Another was happy as torturing animals and was poisoned at our wedding feast. I must be cursed. Nonsense. Those circumstances have improved markedly. Just saying, Marjorie. Call me. <laughs> they gave him eye stones. Priceless. Do you know what that major guard and soldier this is exactly the kind of pep talk that seriously needs right now. Oh. Understatement of the past four years? Oh, God, please tell me they don't have sex in here because I don't know if I can handle a shot right now. I don't know if I'd have to do more shots just because it's doubly creepy that there's the corpse of your dead son there. I want, I want ridiculous eye stones put on me when I'm buried. <laughs> yeah, damaged jeans, much? Oh please. Okay, just kissing. I'm not gonna take a double shot for kissing.
thank you for having the decency not to bonk in the funeral home. You're a hateful woman. Why have the gods made me love a hateful woman? Um, are you serious? No! No! No, please! I can't take a shot! <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Ah, shit! Goddamn show! Oh, Martin, you messed up all through you. I'm just taking a double shot, because this is especially fucked up. You goddamn show. Oh, good. How are you in the hound? No one's gonna get killed here. Ah! <laughs> oh, Aria, you little scamp. <laughs> I love you, hound. <laughs> good rice, good curry, good gummy. Let's hurry before I kill you. Got any chickens? Oh, please, hound. Please become a farmer. Farmer hound. I am excited. <laughs> oh, dude, are you fucking for real? I gotta drink to that type of value violence. You're the worst shit in the seven kingdoms. Oh shit! You're plenty worse than me. I just understand the way things are. How many stars they got to be ahead before you figure it out? No. Yeah. <laughs> Why would anyone want to be in the Night Watch? They're a bunch of assholes. Watching Sam try to have games good enough to make you drink. I you. I'm Samwise Gamgee, and I want to protect you. How do I pluck the feathers off this bugger? <laughs> Damn, that baby's got big eyes. Oh, good. Stannis. And if that happens, I'll have to become I'll dour be looking even more. Which means you are running out of time. And I can't afford for you to die at the end of this episode, dude. <laughs> ah! Right. Little girl Two Face. Later time. You won't be a very good hand if you see the word night and say Kurt Niggit. That happened once weeks ago that you're your father's daughter and all <laughs> Niggit. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> Nice Monty Python reference there. Knigets. <laughs> you were a pirate once. Oh, I was never a pirate. I was a smuggler. What's the difference? Well, if you're a famous smuggler, you're not doing it right. You can do the well, Kessel Run in 12 parsecs. <sighs> oh, thank God. I thought that was going to be another sex scene. <laughs> I saw tits. Okay. Jeez. Wait a minute. They're supposed to be chased. Yet there's tits galore in here. He's dead. That ain't Nymphador, is it? No. Tits. Yeah, she seems really well off here, dude. <laughs> Again with this? <laughs> you got problems, show. You got problems. Jesus. Oh. Is anybody thinking of the children? 
You're still having this sex scene, so I'm not taking another shot for this shit. Damn, that girl's pale. There's a bunch of white people in this... <laughs> There's a bunch of white people in this show. Yeah, of course. Mm. Well, Aren't we clever, Mr. Flintstone? Rather well, Mr. Hunt, unarmed, unguarded. Should I be concerned that you are unarmed and unguarded because you know me better than that? Men at war commit all kinds of crimes without their superior's knowledge. So you deny you won't continue his murder. But let me counterpoint your counterpoint with yet another counterpoint. I would also invite you to sit on the small council to serve as one of the new king's principal advisors. You get a company car. Oh, poor Tyrion, you poor baby. Yeah, Podrick! Big Dick Podrick, I guess. I don't know. I got you my urine sample, though. But let's face it, she's dumb. They. Maybe Joffrey was too much work for him. Sweet Tommen is so much easier to handle. Whenever something bad happens to me, I assume it's my sister that had a hand in it. To say what you would have said, say. She loves her children. She is the only one I'm certain had nothing to do with this murder. What do you think, Watson? I mean, Podrick. If the mastermind of this turns out to be Podrick, I'm going to be very, very impressed. <laughs> My lord, can I spend more time at the whole house? I seem to have a really good go of it first time around. Something else, my lord. Trials in a fortnight. Want an answer before that. Already gave them an answer, my lord. Oh. I will not have you die on my lord. Fuck, you don't kill Podrick! If you take that long walk to the executioner's block, I don't want to see your head. Oh. Oh, lord, Pod, I am giving you an order. He's the character I live vicariously through. Don't kill him. <laughs> Get yourself out of King's Landing before it's too late. Oh. 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 He's your Alfred, man. He's fucking Alf. I won't abandon you, Master Tyrion. <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking. Oh, man, this is fucking heart. Not heartbreaking, but that. Good job, Tyrion. <laughs> oh, dude, if they kill Podrick, I'm gonna be pissed. That dude's living the dream, apparently. <laughs> Potatoes. Potatoes. That's from Lord of the Rings. Okay, violence. Holy shit, redhead! Reavers! I mean, those dudes! Okay, violence again. Holy shit! And become Batman because of me, kid. Holy shit! Scarred up Lex Luthor's messed up. You're a champion of the common people, Lord Snow. What do you say to Brother Pip's proposition? I say I be mopey and uh, indecisive about it. That's right. We need to shore up Castle Black. We need to defend the wall. That yeah. Is our job. And meanwhile, zombies. <laughs> Oh wow, it's been a while since we've seen you, lady. Eh, it's a shame you don't do nudity anymore. <laughs> it's a shame you don't do nudity anymore, dear, because I would have had a shot because of that. The gates of Mordor. I mean, wherever the fuck this is. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz? <laughs> Dude, look very Lenny Kravitz-ish. <laughs> A single rider. 
He's called the Mouth of Sauron. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Send the dude who gave you flowers. Or, you know, send the dude who's in the total friend zone. Oh, cool. That was a dick. Peeing. Fantastic. Yeah, let the skinny Barack Obama dude do it. Like I said, send. Which is why you must remain by my side. You're old. Let the recast dude go in there. I'm not your general or a member of your Queen's Guard or the commander of your own Sully. My mother was a whore. I come from nothing. Before long, I will return to nothing. Let me kill this man for you. Very well. I gave you flowers. <laughs> Seabiscuit was a fucking idiot. <laughs> hey, uh, Khaleesi, how about just sending down, uh, dragons to kill this dude? Just throwing that out there. You've got three almost full-grown dragons that could easily roast this sucker. Awesome! <laughs> Badass. Violence doesn't show his Xerxes from 300. Isn't that brown? That's really weird. And here comes more violence. Lenny Kravitz does not look happy about this. All right, you had me. You had me, lady. Ooh, that's pretty clever. That's pretty clever. Oh, you're fucked, Middle Eastern looking man. <laughs> and there we go. Thank God it didn't end in a massacre, because I don't know if I would have handled that pretty well. So, um, yeah, that's basically the, uh, the trial run of Game of Boobs. Leave comments, like, share, do whatever, and, uh, message me if you have suggestions on. Anything I need to work on or anything you want to see happen with these vlogs?